again, this we haven't beat a team with a winning record this year. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's, that's sad. Pretty bad. Okay, that's number one. Other than Cleveland, I mean, I don't know what Cleveland's record is right now, but Cleveland was the only team we had beaten at the time, and I, I don't know what the record is now. I haven't even looked, but um, that was the only team that we beat that was a strong football team, and that was mm -hmm. when. We had our, all of our confidence. Everybody was playing up par, up to par, and it seemed like it seemed like everybody was together then. And then things started to go downhill, and it started to go downhill think, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Week two on has been bad. I'm sorry, but it has been. It's been well. Actually, I would say week one was pretty horrendous. What Spags not making adjustments? Yeah. That, and yeah. then we saw probably by the third game the offense is having issues, which we've never really seen before. But exactly. they need to get someone a phenomenal player that can help change this because if they can't get someone that can change the mood of this defense, I don't even know, go, know what's gonna happen, man. But real quick for you, bro, Frank Clark, do you think it's time to cut him and move on? You can't. Cut I've him. been on his. I have been on his side for so long, and I, I have, have not seen nothing. I have not seen nothing, and I think at the point they need to move on and figure uh, something here's out. Here's the thing, because though: you can't cut him, though. You can't. Cradle, I mean, they gotta do something, man. Because at this point, here's I'm the not problem: trying to be negative, and I've I'm not either. Been, I'm on your okay, side with that. I'm on your side with that. I don't mean to cut you off. Number okay, one, bro, you can't. Just, you're not going to find a team, a team that's going to trade for him for his contract. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true, number that one. True. Number two, what are we going to do at a thirty-seven million dollar dead cap hit? We can't have that either. So we got to figure out a way. Look. I understand the business side of this, and I get the fact mm. that you're paying a guy this kind of money, so you want him out there playing because you're paying him to play. But in the same aspect, if you're paying him to he's play not and he's not producing, anything. then you've got to find somebody that is going to produce and maybe restructure his contract. If he's not willing to restructure, then there's other ways of getting him out of this, this contract, but it takes a lot longer to do. It but just the, seems like mm, – go ahead, sorry, go ahead. But in the same aspect, it's 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 a – that is a very tricky situation, and it's a hard one because no one, even Veach or anyone else, can predict the fact that someone's going to milk a contract the way he has. And I'm sorry, but that's what he's doing. You think he is? I do. I do. I think he's milking wow. the contract. And, I, and I'm and i sorry, but, you know, for the longest time, I, I was the same way you are. I, I defended him. I, I, you know, I know about his stomach issues. I know, about, I mean, I, in, in depth, and I told you what they were. Well, and, and they I, even tweeted it out last year, and they've been saying he has been having issues, so... Yeah. So, but I mean, this, this year here is a little different. Now it's one, it, it for, goes from one quad hamstring to the next hamstring to this hamstring to that hamstring. It, it's weird that it jumps from the right to the left, to the left, to the right. It's just one thing after another, but yet he's just not producing. And, you know, we, we've only had seven, I think seven, now eight sacks on the year, on the year. We have, we're looking, okay, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, JP, and I'm sorry for all the fans, but I remember a long time ago, it was about 2012 or 2011, 2012, the Chiefs, it was, the Chiefs were a horrid, terrible team, and I would watch every game that season. I was probably in two, four, fifth grade, maybe six. And I remember seeing a, a graphic that CBS always shows, and it showed the Chiefs are on pace to have the less sacks ever by a team, and it was like, like 13. Yeah. This team is on that pace because they have no pass rush. None. No pass rush. And I can't really put it on Chris Jones because he's coming out there with a hurt hand doing what he can do. He got some sacks today. Frank Clark, though, man, he has not got no pressure off the edge. Mike Dan has showed some stuff. Uh, Wharton has shown some stuff. But we're just having guys that seem unmotivated. Uh, Jerry Reed, bro, like people were saying, we're not seeing what what is he. There's no pressure. So I'm just as confused as you, man, trying to figure out what is going to happen. And a lot of it's motivation. Have, I'm well, telling you, a lot of it's just motivation. Well, you know what, man? It it, uh, it, just, it just shows you what happens whenever a team doesn't win, what happens. And well, I that and, and coaching. Because this team is really good. Yeah. They, on paper, they're really good. But the issue we've run into is the philosophy or what have you been saying? We've been saying that the philosophy has never been the same. They're trying to put Mahomes in a bubble. And we have a coaching staff, specifically maybe Spags at this point. He's stuck in the depth chart mindset that does not want to change how things is. And I understand that's going to work sometimes. But look, I don't even like if we were to trade for a linebacker, I don't really know how that's going to help. I say if you're going to bring someone in, you got to bring in <laughs> a tone setter, someone like a great, a great. But there's no way we're going to get someone like that. It just, I mean, yeah, it's going to be difficult. I hate, I, to, mean, I hate to say this, but this defense is has played a lot better. But the offense, I think this is going to be Mahomes' worst season of his career, possibly. 
if they can't turn around. Now, I said they would probably lose four games, and they're at the four-game mark right now. Yeah. So unless they have some type of come-to-Jesus meeting and everyone can say how they feel, and they and, and Andy and them listen to their players and change stuff up the way that's it's supposed to change, because as many people don't realize this, the coaches are there too, but the players are the ones out on the field. And if they can't execute and they have suggestions, you should listen to them. If they're not going to do that, man, we could lose on Tyron Matthew this offseason. And I love Tyron Matthew, um, but I have a feeling we're going to have a move similar to how Tyron Matthew and maybe, yeah, that Tyron Matthew, him being possibly not be signed. And as much as I want him to be here, bro, he doesn't deserve this. He does not deserve this because him, Thornhill, Chris Jones, these guys have worked all year, all year, and have n- got nothing to work out. The coaching staff has failed him, it looks like. I'm not saying who specifically, but I think everyone – Every position is to be blamed, even on Dave Toe when it comes to the special teams and the fumbles. And, yeah, so that's all I'm going to say right there. Well, here's the thing. I mean, Tyron specifically said that he was here to build this, and he is. He's, he's here for the long mm-hmm. run. I believe him. My problem with this is, and I mean, I, God, man, it's so hard to keep my mouth shut. I mean, it really is hard to keep my mouth shut. Um, I hear you, man. It's, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> I am I'm right now. It's like, it's kind of how it was for me when I sent you a birthday gift and I wanted you to open it three days early. That's mm-hmm. kind of how I am with this. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to keep my mouth shut, but I, uh, I'm at a point to where I just want to open my mouth and just say what the problem is. And to a degree I kind of have, but I have a feeling uh, and I'll, I'll leave it at a feeling quotation. Marks. I think everyone's kind of set. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, there's going to be some changes within the personnel side of this. And I know everybody wants to blame Spags as Spags is a big part of this problem, but his problem is, is his, his unwillingness to move the change. Yeah. Change. Yeah. Yeah. And if he doesn't decide to make that change, then he's going to have to, move on i mean we can't have another bob sutton situation in our hands well, where and Andy's that's, buddies that's with the him. thing it's that's what it's turning into and i don't know man it's, it's at this point it just shows me that the unwillingness to change and to bring in players who have been here at speed try something new has just not come through fruition and i am not a coach but from what i've seen and we've been doing this jp you've been part of the game for 20 plus years and i've been part of the game as a casual fan that been diving into it running this account for last ever since Mahomes basically started his era i have put a lot of time into learning about this team learning about the different things how everything works and i have to say man you helped me learn a lot and i owe that a lot to you man so i thank oh, no. you for that no problem but from bro. what i've Appreciate seen it. it seems like like and it comes to a lot of sports in general, you have people who are in positions of power who think they are right. And what ends up happening yes. to the extent of everyone else suffers. And I can look at this hockey, baseball, basketball, yeah. GMs, coaches, and everything. And this is a time for the Chiefs organization, maybe even Clark Hunt to look themselves in the mirror and try to figure something out. Because you know, Clark Hunt, Clark Hunt lets them do a thing. And I always commend him. I may not like some of the stuff he's put out in the past here or there, Everyone's going to have a different opinion. But however, what I was trying to say is maybe it's time for him to step in and see what he's doing. Because if you know when Clark Hunt, during that season, they won the Super Bowl, when they went to Missouri Western and they had the training camp, there's a video of him saying, last year we almost achieved our goal, this year we're going to do it. They need to have someone like him come into a tone stutter or someone. Get someone to speak with a team. And I don't know, bring on Bobby Bell, bring in Trent Green. Um, I don't know, bring in Jamal, bring in someone, I mean, if DT was here, maybe I don't know, man. But you know what I'm saying, bro. Uh, bring in someone that could talk, huh? Sorry, what'd you say? DT would make a difference. He I mean, definitely... just bring in someone that could talk with them because they just don't look like the same guys. And I, I hope they can, I hope they can turn around. I really do. But I think they need to have one of the guys who was around this team from the beginning, what rides to like a Tamba, to come there and talk with them because this just isn't the same team. It's just sad to see. Well. Like I said, I mean, I think we're going to see some changes coming fairly quick, and I got a feeling this week there's going to be at least one change um, pretty quick. Uh, (laughs) um, There I go again. Um, Anyway, look, the the tone is set. When I when I played ball, the tone was set by. It started off with egos. Egos change everything. 
And I played with a couple of guys that had egos that just didn't end. And I had no ego. I was like this young punk kid that was scared to even walk up to some of the guys that I got to meet. You know, I mean, you're walking up to a guy like George Brett, which was, in my opinion, the biggest asshole on the planet. And I'll say that to this day. Um, well, you're not the only person we've had that's told us that. So. Yeah. So and uh, but then I got to meet a guy like Frank White, that was the nicest man on the planet. And then a Bo Jackson, which was the nicest man on the planet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all the guys that I got to meet during that era that didn't have egos. Frank didn't have an ego. Frank was not a guy that had an ego. As great as he was in his position and as a baseball player, he didn't have an ego. But then you have coaching, coaches alone, that some of them were horrible ball players or may have never played ball. But because they were in a position of power and may have gotten somewhere with that team, their, their heads swelled up. And then they felt like you know, their word was Bible. That has to go away. They need to humble themselves down and realize that what they have within their roster is a talented group of guys. They have a giant playbook. And something was brought up to me today that is mm -hmm. rings true. We're playing the same, you know, we haven't changed really a lot within our offensive scheme, other than the fact that we put Mahomes in a bubble for the last three years. And that's mm -hmm. stuff that has to change. You've got to, we've got a giant playbook. Open it up, use it, use the playbook for what it what it's meant for. Andy didn't write that thing to let it sit. And it just seems like they're doing vanilla offense from last year. They haven't really opened it up. They haven't it's opened just, it up. Like and that's the problem. They always start with the flea flicker to Tyree Kill to bust open the game. Yeah. Um, it, change it up maybe and do something to where it looks like it, but it's actually going to harm it. I mean, it seems like they're just not doing what it's used to be, used to be in there. And look, I've been a fan for many years. I have made a personal decision to say, regardless if they want to lose, my life goes on. They aren't going to, they make my, if they lose, they make me happy. If they, they don't, oh, I mean, sorry, if they win, they make me happy. If they don't, oh, well, but I'm at the point where it's like this. Either something's going to change or it's going to be a big what, what if on Mahomes' career right now because he has no help. He has no help. And it's just frustrating to see because these players collectively are a great unit. They know what they're doing week in, week out. I don't know why. And here's another thing. You know, they brought Josh in for a reason. I've yet to see him get utilized. It's not, he can be out there. I don't yeah. know why they're not putting him out there. It makes no sense. Um, Throw it up to him. I mean, just, I don't know. Yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know, another, this was another game that I honestly thought that they were going to let Mahomes free and let him do his thing. And you saw what happened, you know, him sticking in the pocket and waiting it just a bit too long in the pocket almost got him killed. Mm -hmm you know about got his neck broke mm -hmm. and it's just not good to see no it's not and it's sad and you know one thing that was also brought up to me as well um it would almost be good honestly and i as much as i hate to say this it would almost be good to let mahomes sit a game and it's probably an unpopular opinion but we're playing who the Giants next week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it may not be a bad plan, and it may be a bad plan. I don't know. But maybe for his own stability and mm -hmm. his own um, just reflection, let him mm -hmm. just sit, relax, and reflect on what's going on. I don't know. Okay. Um. I don't know what else to say at this point, but I know that if they don't change things up and they don't start utilizing him to his strengths and let him do his game, he's going to get hurt. I said yeah, this three I'm weeks ago thing, that he has been getting hurt and hit more than he's ever been hit before. And today was a product of exactly what I was talking about when he yep. got nailed and he got hit low and they should have called it below the knees. They should have called that first of all. And then the one above, I can't really say a whole lot about that one because I don't think that was a dirty hit. It was just kind of a, 
it was a product of how you're going to slow down type of